Um, thank you very much for that. Yes, sir. Uh, certain elements uh, of faith are, by definition, exclusivist, whether we would like them to be so or not. Uh, for example, large segments of, of uh, Christianity uh, believe very strongly that unless you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, you're basically excluded from God's grace. That very belief is, is of course, uh, anathemical to non-Muslims, uh, to, to Muslims. They would believe that that, uh, that very belief makes you outside of God's grace uh, or, and not believing in the prophets of God as well. So the question arises, uh, we're not going to be able to change these fundamental theological beliefs. What practical steps can we do? I mean, how can we make people genuinely love uh, and, and care about one another when they believe that that other person who is outside their faith tradition is outside of God's grace? That's a great question. Uh, wish I knew the answer. Um, <laughs> that's a great question. I, I think one of the things that we should explore in the course of this is the nature of that kind of exclusionary belief, because that's not limited to Christianity either, is it? No, <laughs> so, I mean, each faith will believe that it has the truth. Right? Um, and the question really will be, is there a way that people can feel comfortable whilst they believe that they have the truth with the truth of somebody else? You know, are there ways that we can, can make that um, an experience that people don't find threatening or off-putting. Just to give you an example, when I um, was just reflecting, because of, of course, with the Quran being the given word of God to, to the Prophet, that obviously has a very special significance within Islam. You know, when I, you read the book of Leviticus, um, the Lord gives the laws to Moses and speaks directly to him. You know, when we end our um, Christian Bible readings, we will say, this is the word of the Lord, or this is the word of God. And I think one thing that we can explore, and this is why if we can get the right partnerships with people, I also want to do some of, some of the, forgive me for all politicians' things, some of the polling <laughs> on um, attitudes and so on, is to work out what people really mean by that sense of, I have the truth, the degree to which they hold that in an exclusionary way, and whether there are areas in which you can s start to see some some way that people can come together a bit around that. You know what I mean? I think, because I think that is a, it's a really, and it will raise the issue of the degree to which faith, when it is exclusionary, arises out of doctrine, or is it arising out of attitude? And I think that, so that is what we need to explore. But my own view is that, that people actually can find a way through that if they want to.